up everyone, Asian Chaos here, <clears throat> and today I'll be bringing a new Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Um, I got a pack of the Duel Saga. Um, as you can see, I did take the plastic off because when I bought it, um, there was already a huge hole in the plastic someone made. So yeah, um, I still decided to buy it because it was the last one. But, um, I did mention in my last video, I did buy a two other Dota Sagas, um, that I decided to open. But I will show what I got out of those. Sorry, Treasure. Um, but yeah, from what, what, from what I've heard and what I've seen, actually, um, this set's actually pretty good. Not gonna lie. It had, like it says on the box already, um, new cards from every TV show. Um, these are the packs that you can get. Three packs come in per box, and five cards per pack. So yeah, um, we got Black Rose Dragon, Elemental Honest Neo, which that card actually is the main card I guess most people are going after. Blue Eyes, Yugi, um, Dark Magician, Cyber Dragon, and actually I don't know which that name is. I know it's number 70 because it's on it right here. You can't see it on that, but yeah. Um, these are the cards I got from the previous two Duel Sagas I did. Um, let me see if I got any doubles. Not that I saw. Okay. Cool. Um, so yeah. I got Bro Hunter. Uriah, Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames, which actually is pretty cool to see the three secret beasts um, get reprinted. Sea Lord's Amulet. This is send this card to a graveyard during your opponent's third end phase after activation. Water monsters you control cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effect. Not bad, not bad. <coughs> um. Let me think what decks that could have gone in. I don't remember anything on top of my head, but I mean, that would be pretty good for water decks. Power Wall, Saber Shark, you know, that's a, um, something else I've been seeing in these packs. It's a lot of the, actually, you know what? This will go with it, but, um, a lot of new cards, I guess, are coming out with the sharks and whatnot. Um, I'm pretty sure some of the ones that are in the set got reprinted. I don't remember for sure. I'll look it up. But, um, yeah. I mean, with that, this could work with it. So, this is one of my personal favorites. Chaos Scepter Blast. Um, this will definitely do good in my Magician deck. Um, what it does is, if you control a level 8 or higher spellcaster type monster, Banish. One card on the field face down. If this card in if this card in its owner spell and trap zone is destroyed by opponent's card effect, you can special summon one magician of black chaos or dark magician of chaos from your deck, ignoring the summoning condition. So yeah, that one is one of my personal favorites, so I'm gonna set that to the side. Um yeah. Necro Valley DDD D, D, D Warrior Lady. Um Dual Taining Dark Summoning Beast. This actually basically lets you get one of the um three sacred beasts out from your deck. Clashing Souls Lightwing Shield. This card most Utopia players will go go for this. Um when a monster's Attack is negated, activate one of these effects, it becomes the end phase of this turn. Target one Utopia XYZ monster you control. Its attack becomes doubled its original attack until the end of this turn. If a Utopia XYZ monster you control would detach exactly one XYZ monster to activate its effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. So yeah. I mean, I I'll put that to the side, that sounds pretty good. Hey man. Ha, ha, hey man, I guess, I, I never know how to say his name. Lord of Striking Thunder. Number 28, Titanic Moth. Actually, I believe I got 
two copy of those. Yep. Skydive Scorcher. This basically has the same effect in the um, TV show. They finally made it into a card. But, um, yeah. That's one of my personal favorites. Um, Uriah. Another, another double. Forgot. Um, Chain Summoning. This is, if you control two or more face-up XYZ monsters, target the one with the lowest rank. Um, your choice if tie special summon one XYZ monster from your extra deck whose rank is lower than that XYZ monster. But that, but the special summon monster cannot attack directly. Also, return it to the extra deck during the end phase. So yeah, it's alright. Um... Not the greatest, but alright. Expect Feeler, I'm not gonna lie, that's one of my personal favorites. Um, Dandelion, Gozuki, um, this apparently people have been going after a lot, though. Treeborn Frog, Legacy of a Hero, Plague Spreader Zombie, Clashing Shoals, that's another one, that's another double I got. Rescue Cat, now this is interesting. The end of this one's effect is if you activate its effect, right? Okay, if this card in its owner's spell and trap zone is destroyed by opponent's card effect, you can add one Harpy's Feather Duster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Now, here's my question. Are they going to be taking Harpy Feather Dusters off the ban list soon? Hopefully? Maybe? I think that would be awesome. Honestly, I do. Um, it would be great to see Harpy Feathers Duster in the game. And honestly, I know it would be very broken, and unless they would change its effect and stuff, but honestly, I think it would be very good. Um, Clear Effector, Honest, and then Blacklist of Soldier, and for the beginning. So yeah, I'll actually that one I'll put up here, one of my personal favorites. So yeah, that's what I got in the other packs. Um, I'm going to open this one up now. This is what it looks like when you open it first. Alright. Pack one Yugi of Dual Saga. Alright. We got Dark Magician of Chaos, one of my personal favorites. Um, Neo Spacing Grand Mole, not bad. Happy Feather Storm. So now I got two, thank goodness. White Fail, and then go Zuki. Another one of my personal favorites. Um, one thing I have noticed is that um, a lot of the cards in this set actually is going up in price. I've been watching, but it's interesting because with the Link Summonings coming out, um, a lot of these cards allow you to, not to Link Summoning, some of the um, other cards here allows you to get like a lot, of, well, quite a few XYZs and stuff out. But with the Link Summonings, I don't understand because you, with Link Summoning, um, if you don't have a Link Monster on the field, you can only have one XYZ or um, XYZ, um, one XYZ or Well, I mean, there is a spell card now that's coming out that's allowing you to have both Link Zone. So I don't know, really, honestly. I would have to look into that again. Um, next one. Dark Magician. Yeah. I mean, what do you guys think about Link Summoning? Leave a comment in the... Leave a comment below and let me know. Jasmine Dragon. Um, Castell, the Sky Blaster Musketeer, actually one of my personal favorites. Um, Dark Lord Uko Back. Uko Back, I guess. Bro Hunter, and then last but not least, Lightwing Shield. And I explained the effect of that one already. Um, that's alright, I guess. I mean, yeah. And this one, number 70, XYZ Monster. I don't know what it's called, but yeah.
Oops. Gladiator Beast Kazorus, I guess. Um, Castella Potolomi M7. I guess that's the name. Oops. Um, Full Armored Chris Chrysalizo Lancer. I guess that's the name. Half the time I can't find out the name of it. Legacy of the Duelist. Now this is one of the main cards in the set that people are going after. Um, when your monster declares an attack, you can target one spell slash trap card your opponent controls. Negate the attack and if you do destroy that card, each player can only set one spell slash trap card from their hand per turn. Monsters cannot attack the turn they were special summoned from the extra deck during your draw phrase. Before you draw, you can give up one of your one, give up your normal draw this turn, and if you do, add one monster from your graveyard to your hand. So yeah, that I'm definitely gonna be putting that in my deck, um, for sure. No offense, no but it's actually really good. I suggest trying to find it maybe um, if you guys ever get a chance to get the pack um, let's see there's only I want to say five comes in five of the single packs like these come in per box um I th believe I don't remember for sure um I may start buying them in boxes I don't know but yeah and then last but not least, Sky, Sky Dive Scorcher. So yeah, now I got two of those. I'm actually pretty happy. So yeah, um, I give it this set actually a 9 out of 10. Um, I mean, because like some of the main cards you people you people are trying to go after, it's kind of hard to find. Um, like for example, Elemental Heal Honest Neos. Um, This one, don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah, that's Elementary Honest Neos. Um, that's one of the main cards people are going after in the set, from what I've heard, honestly. Um, but yeah, so I give this set a 9 out of 10, really good. Um, I haven't given it a 10 out of 10, that the 10 out of 10 has not come yet for most Yu-Gi-Oh stuff um but yeah um man yeah alright no, I'm actually pretty happy with it um so yeah 9 out of 10 pretty good packs um I got some personal favorites now like Castella I actually have a good copy now um the copy I had before is kind of really messed up from the last person I traded it from so yeah and this is nothing. In this set, they do parallel, parallel, um, holographics now. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be all for today. Um, I will be posting this today, Friday. Um, next thing I'll probably be doing is some figure reviews. So shh. Um, so yeah, that's all for today. And until next time, Agent Chaos, signing out.